let's try to run a very basic MPA program using Visual Studio. So here I'm going to create a new project. We'll go for a very basic console application. Let's name this program as Hello World MPI. And I'm going to save it in my desktop where I have a folder MPI programs. So Okay, now my basic program structure is being created. Now let's try to add the first uh, statement, hash include mpi.h. See, you can see an error here. So we need to uh, set up the pro project properties to support the MPI files. So we'll have additional include directories where we'll try to include the header files of MPI. I have installed my MPI files in. Let's see. If program files, Microsoft SDK, and a folder named MPI. So I'm going to include this directory here. Now I'm going to the linker where I'm going to add additional library directories. Here again, I'm going to program files, Microsoft SDKs, MP folder. Here we have a lib folder and I'm choosing x86. One more setting that we have to do is in Linka, we have to set the additional dependencies. I'm going to add m as mpi dot lib here. So that makes our setup complete. Now let's try running one program here. Okay. The first statement to include in an MPA program is the initialization MPI in it. So here we don't have any arguments, so we'll just give null here. The last statement of any MPI program should be MPI finalize. Now we need to have a communicator. For that we need to declare two variables to get the rank and the size. Int rank comma size. Let's call the MPA communicator to get the rank. Here we have the function call and we are going to use the default communicator MPI com hold. Here we have we are giving the address reference to the rank. Once 
one more function call is required that is mpi comb size again we are using the default communicator mpi comb world and giving the address to the size Let's try building this first of all. Okay, the build is succeeded. We don't have any errors. So we need to run it from the command prompt. And let's copy this directory here where our exe is being built control c and we are going to use cd control v here okay now you can see that we have the hello mpi dot exe running here we are going to use the command mpi exec and the number of processes let it be eight now we have the form program name hello world mpi dot exe see there are eight processes which we have initiated and all of them have executed the same instruction hello world here so this is the basic uh, mpi program that we have uh, executed right now we will be improving this in our further sessions.